So a couple things are up uh, in our hearts uh, is the, the assault on the Gaza Strip that happened in December and January, killed 14 people, uh, 1,400 people, 13 Israelis, 1,400 uh, Palestinians. Uh, but this time of year, May 15th uh, is the, the day that Palestinians remember what happened in 1948, actually from 1947 to 1949, when about 800,000 Palestinians were driven out of what was then called Palestine. Uh, and then the state of Israel was founded, and that ethnic cleansing has continued in other forms until today. That's why they're still upset about it. Uh, so we're remembering that season as well, and with things like the assault on Gaza, um, it stays in our mind, and it stays in our hearts. So uh, there's, there's several people uh, that are going to come today and fill up our, our time reading several things that they've written, also some, some uh, poems by Palestinian authors, uh, maybe some Israeli authors, maybe some others as well. And one called White Phosphorus, that stuff that is supposed to be used as a kind of a flare in smoky conditions or nighttime. So white phosphorus. Like napalm, it burns away falsehood. The skin of the victim peels off to reveal the heart and imagination of the attacker, the perpetrator, the invader. The hot white smoke which falls toward the ground with its garlic smell does not obscure the eye-piercing white of the truth. The drowning of living organs in pain, the scream stretched throats and blackened eyes, the crushed homes, the incinerated children, all were alive in the hearts of the attackers before they were brought to being on earth. The goal of the invaders' hearts was to crush the hearts of the people invaded and their bodies if they didn't submit. The burning of bodies was imagined, was planned was calculated. The invaders danced and sang when their plan manifested itself on flesh. The searing and penetrating of flesh was no regret, no accident, but a lure, a wish, a state of mind, an imagination of power, a conviction, a justification of itself, a need which ignites when exposed to the air we breathe and burns without stopping till the oxygen stops, or it burns itself away to nothing. It burns beyond the victim to expose the root and the bone of the ones who use it and show the thoughts you thought were secret and leaves your heart naked at last. So all can see what has always lived there, waiting to burn and be burned and burn until all the truths of your heart come to be, and you alone, of all the world, are safe, are safe, are safe, surrounded. The day Yasser was shot, his mother turned to stone. Draped with the flag, his makeshift shroud, she held her ground at the deserted town square. Each chilly dawn, she clutched a torch of modest flowers, jasmine, daisies, and roses from her garden, while bewildered soldiers driving by, returning from their night shift, wondered at the mist the mist-clad apparition, vaguely reminiscent of a statue somewhere. The night before Raja was shot, the lights went out. His mother lit a lamp, muttering in anger at her superstitious fear of omens. A hastily painted name on the martyr's wall next day unraveled his substance before her very eyes, and she reached out and touched his absence, carved out, hollowed, hallowed in her dark-filled womb. 
she turned and shed what little remained and calmly transformed herself into a night vision. Elegy for Haista in Colors by Salim Abu Jabal. I see you in black and white, the sea taking you to your diaspora. I see you in Haifa at the port in clothes with oriental features. I see you in old photos. Was the sea blue then, beautiful like an oil painting? Was the sea drowning behind you when you left? Or did you ask the sublime for a summer vacation? I see you in black and white, dressed in eastern clothes, a woman holding the hand of a child who leads her into the refugee camp, a man holding the handles of a cart that leads him into the refugee camp, a cat on the ship guiding it to the camp. Almonds, sugar, and nuts, pomegranates, peaches and bananas, here comes the ship beginning its journey to the old photos, to a time of no return. I see you in the old photos. I see that you are well. May God save you from all harm. O oh God, creator of the two colors of our memory, black and white. This is our memory, made of black and white, flower and bread, daylight and work, black and white, the colors of our Eastern culture, black and white. The remaining photograph of my grandmother sitting on the shelf in a room in a house on the mount, black and white. My night and my day, I search for the secret of the fish, by night and by day, why did the fish not go away? Was its sea as black as your sea in the photos? Haifa, the delicious meal of fish, the din of the market after prayers, the smell of fishing on the eve of the holiday. Haifa, the delicious meal of fish. I see them in black and white, carrying the newcomers to apartments on the mount, a crack in the memory is full of monstrous colors, blue, green, and azure. Blue, green, and navy blue. Blue, green, and pink. Color, colorful roses for the new state, and a sky powdered with smoke. The thud of bombshells is loud. The blue remained here. It did not depart with you. The green remained here. It did not depart with you. My memory never joined you. And Haifa is no longer Haifa. Of the two colors in the old photos, if you only knew, Haifa is now full of color. Beautiful in color photos. If you only knew, Haifa is searching for hope in the horizon. If you only knew. I see them and I see you in black and white the sea taking you to your diaspora, the sea bringing them from all directions, and I ask, was the sea blue then?